Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 1 of Hibernate tutorial and in this lesson I will give you a brief introduction about what Hibernate is and why we should use it. So by using Java we store data to the database with the help of JDBC. JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity and here in our Java class we write SQL queries and then we execute those queries. But here's a catch. The catch is you cannot store objects directly into the database. The reason behind this is Java is an object oriented programming language whereas your database is a relational database management system which means it doesn't support features like encapsulations, objects, inheritance etc. So how we can do this? The solution of this problem is ORM. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping and it is a programming technique that maps your Java objects to the data and store to the database. And Hibernate is an ORM tool. Here is the Hibernate framework architecture in which we have session vectors, sessions, transactions, all these are persistent objects and we are going to use all these objects in our upcoming tutorials. Then we have uh, three internal APIs used by Hibernate, JNDA, JDBC, JDA. In this tutorial series we will use JDBC. So thank you very much for watching, see you in next.